show you how to <clears throat> how to install the patch file for Smash Bros 64 to make it su uh, Smash Remix 1.4.1 a lot of people have been asking me how to patch this shit and how to do these kind of things and it's just too hard to explain it in text so I'm gonna show you how to do it right now okay so first of all you gotta go to Vim's layer and download Super Smash Bros 64 it's a .z64 file right here so this is exactly what we need then, once you get that, you need to go here to github.com slash j64 slash smash, smash remix slash release slash tags slash 1.4.1. That's releases slash tags slash 1.4.1. I'm going to put these in the description so it's easy. Um, so right then you scroll all the way down to the bottom of that page and it'll tell you... Uh, It'll tell you right here, Smash Remix 1.4.1.zip. Download that. Once you download all this stuff, you save it all to the same folder. It doesn't matter what you call it, where it is, doesn't really matter as long as you can access it from your Project 64 emulator. And in the event that you don't have a, a patching tool, which this comes with everything you need, so just more of an honorable mention, this website, ROM Hacking. This is a really great website. They have patchers and ROMs and hacks. And this is where I get a lot of my hacks that aren't Smash Remix, but just it's all the same kind of process it just depends on what kind of patcher you're using so anyway whatever today I'm gonna show you how to do this with Smash Bros so once you have everything downloaded go to the folder that you saved it all in and extract the uh, Smash Re like look at watch this is mine when I downloaded that stuff it all came here so you have to go to the compressed zip file right click that you're gonna need WinRAR or 7-zip or something extract that folder here and then it's going to give you this subfolder, the file folder, Smash Remix 1.4.1. Open that. And then I saved my Smash Bros game in here, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You could save it back there. It really doesn't matter. It all matters when you get into the Delta Patcher. So now that we have everything that we need, you open the X Delta UI program, the Patcher. It opens. And then you're going to want to select where the patch is. So open that. And then it's going to be in the Smash Remix 1.4.1 folder that you just extracted. It's going to be in patches. Double click that. And then it's going to be the X Delta file. Smash Remix 1.4.1.x Delta. Double click that. And it loads it up there. Source file is the game that we downloaded, the game that we are going to put the patch onto. So if you saved that in your original folder, or if you saved that in this folder, whatever folder you saved your game to, <clears throat> you want to extract that. Actually, you want to extract that beforehand, so hold on, let me do this right. Go to your game, I saved it in here, and then right click it, show more options, extract all. Or, I'm sorry, extract here. Alright, then go back to your patcher. Sorry about that. We should have extracted that earlier. And now it should appear in the folder you extracted in. And I extracted it in my Smash Remix 1.4.1 folder, so it's going to be in here right there. .z64, it's a Z64 file. Double click that. Output file. You click that. And then you click the output folder in your Smash Remix 1.4.1. Um, I'm going to delete that, I'm not sure what that, I think that's from my last attempt. And then I'm going to call it Smash Remix 141FIN and save it. And then patch it and hopefully it works out. And it's file patched successfully, okay. So basically, once you get that shit patched, you're gonna wanna go in to where you saved it. And you're gonna want to remember to open the file. Watch, I'll show you. You gotta go to where you saved it. And then you gotta fucking click this little arrow down here make sure you open all files 
and then it shows up as the patch. I don't know why it's it's an all it's a file. It's not a Z64 file or whatever. But what but whatever. If if you can't find it in the in the folder that you patched it to, it's because you need to go to all files. You're looking for a ROM or a disk or a Z a seven zip or a zip file or whatever a ROM file. But it's not a ROM file, it's a patch file. So, I mean, it does load this. Once you double click it, it loads your game up. It takes a second while I'm at because it's so hot outside. The whole computer's running slow. But there it is. Let me uh, I'll plug in my controller and I'll skip all this crap so you guys can see that it's really the game. Oh, there you go, there it is. One, okay, so at the bottom, Smash Remix 1.4.1. That's exactly what we want. So that's how you do it. You gotta get the patch, you gotta get the file, you gotta get the ROM, you gotta get the correct stuff and done in the right order, and then you gotta make sure you execute it from the correct color. So, anyway, I hope this helps somebody out. Have a great day, guys, and your mom's a horse. <laughs>